So let's compare case-based research with other research strategies that you might use. So what are the different methods? Obviously we're talking about case study today, but you might do experiment. Experiment deliberately separates a phenomenon from context, so specific variables of interest can be tested. Typically you try and do that in a lab. You might survey, that's an attempt to capture a phenomenon in context, but have a limited number of variables. And that puts limits on respondents. So typically when we design a survey, we might use a Likert scale. So somebody is forced to answer, you know, on a scale of one to seven, what do you think of this? It very much limits the phenomenon in context. We might do archival analysis. That's analyzing data that's already been collected. So your scope is limited to what data is available. You might look at history. You can address entangled context and phenomenon, but usually it's non-contemporary events, which limits your ability to explore context. New, usually when you're looking at histor historical artifacts and no relevant persons are available to comment. Otherwise it might overlap with case study. So when should you use case study? Well, let's look at those forms again. Experiment is the how and the why. It requires you know, control of behavioral elements and focus on contemporary events, yes. Survey, pretty much any, any form of research questions amenable to survey. Um, archival analysis, again, most questions can be answered, but you don't have much control over, over uh, behavioral events. History how and why it, it's more difficult to dive in it depends what information is available case studies tends to be also about the how and the why strictly speaking you could ask all of those things in case but if you're if you're just looking to quantify something why would you use a case study <laughs>